Today we're here with another review. This time we're going to be looking at the PS4 version of Planetside 2, also known as PS2. Now, the game itself is actually really good. I loved it on PC, so I was super excited when it came to PS4 when I wasn't playing PC anymore. I was highly anticipating it, I was upset when it kept getting pushed, I was in the beta. Now, anyway, I've been playing this for a while. So, there are a few things that are wrong with it, and there are a lot of things that are right, but the few things that are wrong are really killing the good things. Now, one of the things that's decently bad is the server is laggy. You will see people bouncing all over the place. You'll see people basically doing like cod dolphin dives, which you can't do in the game, and they'll continue to slide across the ground and stuff like that. Now, up on the screen, you should probably be seeing a liberator that crashed, and it actually crashed to the left. You can see the wreckage when I turn, but you still only see it crash like right in the middle of the, I don't know, driveway? Whatever you want to call it, road. Derp. Anyway, so the servers are laggy, and it's not just my connection, which I will admit is not perfect, because I have had others have the issue at the exact same moment that I have had it. So moving on from the servers being laggy, one of the biggest things, now let me say this first. Generalizations happen. All right. Does this mean that 100% of the people who are lumped into this generalization are all guilty of it or all display the same symptoms? No, no. There are exceptions to every rule and there are exceptions to every generalization. Now, with that being said, console players are dicks. All right? it, it's just a fairly well-known fact. I play console. I'm not a dick. Maybe you play console. You're not a dick. Fantastic. Awesome. But guess what? When compared to the community of a PC game, the exact same game, and I have played both sides, and I'm sure some of you out there have too, and you'll disagree, and mm -hmm. that's your opinion. But more times than not, you'll run into those people, not just squeakers, but you'll run into people who will be all hostile and stuff, and they'll sit there and they'll brag and all that. Now, it's... Again, just a generalization. Calm down, you people out there. I am also a console player, therefore I am lumping myself in with them. Because of this dickishness that is included in console, something that was not seen beforehand was the excessive team killing. Now don't get me wrong, there is team killing on PC, and people will intentionally team kill. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I'm just saying it's worse on console. Having played Planetside 2 on PC for, I think, two and a half years before my PC died originally, I maybe got team killed about 20, 30 times in two and a half years. Now, granted, I don't know how it is in its state right now because I haven't played it on PC in about a year, but the console release, even all the way from beta all the way up to present, I get killed at least 10 times a day by a friendly. And it's not just, oh no, I strafed in front of his rocket or something. No. No, I will be in spawn. I will be checking, you know, the map or something like that, and I'll be dead. Period. The end. I'm in spawn. Someone sees me. They go, hmm, I'm gonna kill him. I was killed once while posting on the forums about this issue, which was kind of ironic and terrible that I was posting about being team killed while being team killed. But anyway, stop the rant. But yeah, it is much, much worse. It is a much bigger problem. And you can't take away friendly fire because that would ruin a lot of aspects of the game and create a few things that can be exploited. Now, with that being said, there needs to be some sort of workaround, some hardcore penalty for team killing someone in your own base. So it's not like they accidentally stepped in front of it or something they're obviously doing it they need to incorporate something like we take away your weapons for an entire day if you do it and it's you know something like that so you can come in sure you can be your you know your dickish mode come in kill someone who doesn't deserve it and then walk away and not be able to play for a full 24 hours is that really worth it maybe if you're a big enough dick sure but otherwise probably not 
So something like that would definitely work. Now, if you accidentally kill someone outside, which even I'm guilty of, probably up on the screen right now, you'll see um, a scythe was going by, and on PC I used to play as Blue. I don't remember all the names of the factions and all that, but I used to play as Blue, now I'm Purple. And so I see a scythe, and my first instinct was, oh shit, a scythe, so I go to shoot it down. And then I realize that it was a teammate. Now, that does happen, and I was retarded. I get that. But that kind of stuff does happen, and I understand that. But when you're in your own base, where no one else can be, and you just start sniping all of your teammates, obviously you're not just making a mistake there. Something else that needs to be mentioned also, that isn't correlated with the team killing and such. Say you're driving a Sunday around, Sunder, and out of nowhere, somebody jumps in. You go, okay, cool, I'll give you a ride, now I got a gunner. Well, he then takes his gun and he starts mowing down all the people around you, and he starts shooting at tanks and stuff like that. Now, obviously, if you're in the tank, you're going to go, why is this guy shooting at me? I'm going to shoot back. You're just an innocent driver of the Sunderer. Now, this has happened several times. And then, on PC, it'd be no, no issue whatsoever, because you just pop up vehicle options, and you limit it to friends only, or clan... outfit, sorry. Outfit only, or something like that, and it'll kick them out, and then you can just run them over or whatever and be like, you know what, screw you, don't do that in my vehicle. However, PS4 does not have anything to do that. So, you cannot kick them out of your vehicle. All they'll do is just sit there and they'll shoot, and then once the tank starts shooting back at you, they'll get out of the vehicle, go jump in a different one, rinse and repeat, and they just make everyone start killing each other. So that's another issue. We need to be able to lock our vehicles on PS4 like we can PC. That'll take care of a lot of team killing issues. So, it all boils down to people on console are bigger dicks than PC. You may not like it, you may not agree with it, but it really is true. So, that pretty much wraps this up for the negatives. However, there are a lot of positives. And it's not just the PS4 version, it's the game as a whole. What other game can you have besides now Star Wars Battlefront, which just came out recently, but what other game can you have a hundred people facing another hundred people, or in Battlefront's case, I think it's like 20 or 30 versus 20 or 30, but still, a huge mass of people fighting against a huge mass of people, and you just start tearing into each other, and it can end up being a really long battle, and I, it's a free game, so if you're sitting here listening to this and you've never played it before, and you're like, uh, I don't know, I don't know, it, it's a free game. If you're on PC or PS4, snag it. Seriously. Try it out. It is a great game. It is addicting. You'll sit there, but be warned. This is not a game to play when you have only 15 minutes, alright? So even with all these negatives and the team killing and stuff, I still was playing 5 hours a day when I was sitting down for, we'll say, 45 minutes. You can still get dragged into it. It's still a lot of fun. It just really needs to get another look at this whole team killing issue. Alright guys, this went a lot longer than I expected, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to catch you guys in Planet Side 2. Alright, later.